Hey everybody, and welcome to another Cricut Craft tutorial. Before we get started, make sure you subscribe to my channel. I put out new videos on Wednesdays and Saturdays with the occasional bonus live video. It's completely free to subscribe, and all you have to do is hit that big red subscribe button. It helps support my channel and everything I do here on YouTube. Today, I am so excited to show you guys how to do the knockout designs. I'm going to show you guys how to do this in Inkscape. I know that sounds intimidating, but I promise you, if you just follow along, it is super easy to do. I'm going to show you how to make this Hakuna Matata design, but once you have practiced, you can make a ton of other different fun designs. Let's go ahead over to Inkscape and get started. To do the knockout design over in Inkscape, it is really, really easy. I promise, just follow along and you will absolutely be able to do these super professional looking knockouts. So what you'll want to do first is over on the left hand side, there's a big A. That is going to be your text. Click on the A and then click anywhere on your screen and that's going to open your beginning of your text. And we're going to use Hakuna Matata. So if you want to do another line, just like in Design Space, just hit enter. And that is simple, easy peasy. Also just like in Design Space, upper left hand corner is where you can change your font. So click and pull down your drop down box and we're going to use impact. So I'm going to scroll pretty quickly. These are in alphabetical order, super easy to find. So there is your font. Now it is pretty small. So what you can do is just click this little arrow right here. This is your selector tool. And to resize things in Inkscape, make sure you hold control on your keyboard while making your font larger. Make it really big so you guys can see it really easily. Now with my font, I want to make sure that it is centered and that it looks really nice. So we're going to actually ungroup this, which you would think, you know, in design space you use ungroup. But the first thing that you need to do is click on the word path and change the object to a path. The path is what design space will see to cut around. The next thing that you'll do is click on object, sorry I clicked the wrong thing, you're going to click object which is right next to path and click the word ungroup. That's going to do just like in design space where it turns everything into one single letter. Now I want to use and move the matata so it's up almost touching Hakuna. So I just draw a box making sure to cover the whole word matata and then I just drag it up so that it is touching. Now I don't want it to actually touch and you'll see how it keeps kind of pulling it. There is a little selection that you need to deselect. Over in the upper right hand corner right here, this is the snapping tool. It's super annoying. I've never used it for anything, but some people might. But you just need to click on that to deselect it and then you can move your design easier. It'll move it in a more um, a slow pace. It won't make it connect automatically and you can kind of move it around however you want. You can move individual letters if you would like, but I think the impact font works pretty well without having to really manipulate it too much. So now what we'll do is select the entire word Hakuna Matata. You're going to go to path and union. Union is like using weld in design space. So it makes it all one piece. We're done with that part, so now we'll do the letters that we're going to put in the middle for the cutout. Open up your text tool again, click anywhere, and just type in whatever you're going to put in between your word. Again, upper left hand corner to select your font. We're going to use what I think is pronounced wheat point, but it could be wet point, it could be anything, I'm not sure. And I am going to change the color really quick. To change the color on anything in Inkscape, you can just choose any of the colors down here. I'm going to make it a bright blue so it's easy for you guys to see. Again, I'm going to select my selector tool and I'm going to resize my words so that I can put them in to my Hakuna Matata. I'm going to resize these before I do anything else just because I find it a little bit easier for me if I do it that way. That looks like a pretty good size and it is a little bit hard to read. So let's go ahead and just make it red. That's a little bit easier for you guys to see. Now what we'll need to do is go to path, object to path, object, ungroup, path, union. Super easy. Just those couple steps will make your words all one piece. And again, it's just like weld. So it removes those cut lines. 
Now, to get our cutout, you'll need to go to Path, and down towards the bottom, you'll see where it says Linked Offset. If you click on that, you're going to get this little diamond right here, right by the H. Before you pull that diamond or do anything with it, go ahead and change the color just by clicking on your color down here. You can make it any color you want. It doesn't matter. It's just easier to see what it's going to look like when you do the cutout. So you can pull this diamond wherever you want. You can make it really big. You can make it small. This is all personal preference about how big you want your cutout to be because your cutout is going to be where you see that blue space. Now what we'll do is we're going to take our selector tool and we're going to pull the red off. We're going to go ahead and select this to remove any of these little dots. You see how there's kind of these small weird dots. So go ahead and go path and change it to object to path. You're going to click break apart and then you're going to click union and that's going to get rid of any of those little open holes. I'm going to get rid of my little this tool. It's going to get rid of all those little open holes, which is awesome. It's so easy to do. Now what you're going to do is select the Hakuna Matata word and your blue cloud looking spot. Go to path and down a couple little um, icons down is the word difference. Click on difference and it's going to remove your blue and leave you with a hole in the word Hakuna Matata. Go ahead and put your it means no worries right on in there and you'll see how beautifully that fits. It looks so cute and so professional. This is going to give you the true knockout look versus some of the ways that I've seen people show on Design Space, which is a very, very thin knockout. This is going to give you a nice thick. So what you can do now is you can either just leave it like this and hit save or you can group them so that it holds them in place. You don't necessarily need to do this, but I'm going to show you how super quick. Go ahead and draw that box around all of your pieces. Go to object and just click group. That's going to hold it in place so that when you put it into your design space, it's going to put a um, everything in its place. So go ahead and click file. We're going to save this. I'm just going to save this as Matata. Now we can load our design into design space to show you guys how easy this was. So go ahead and click upload, click upload image, and then browse. You will find your design in wherever you saved it, which mine should be right around here somewhere. And you'll see that it's going to load just like this. That just shows you it's an SVG, so you don't have to do any cleanup. Click save, go ahead and click insert image. And you can resize this to any size that you want. I'm going to make it really big so you guys can see it. But look at how awesome that looks. Is that not so cool? And it was so easy. Now all you have to do is just click make it. And it, this one's going to put it on a really big mat right now because I made it huge for you guys. But I wanted to show you. Check it out. You're going to get your Hakuna Matata cut out and the It Means No Worries cut out. And it's perfect. Easy to do. So much more clean than some of the other ways that I have seen. And it just looks really professional. If you guys have any questions, please let me know in the comments down below. I'm always happy to answer those for you. Make sure you subscribe to my channel. It is a totally free way to help support me and my channel. Have a wonderful day and happy crafting.